last part that I saved for uh, the Rimats kind of summary is where the company is going next. So as mm-hmm. I said, they're going to start mass producing um, Nevera. It should be priced around $2 million. Uh, mm. I think it was dollars. Yikes. I'm not sure if you said euro, but th- that number is kind of in my mind. So we'll, we'll fact check that as well. It's certainly the same ballpark either way anyway. Definitely. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we can afford that, Brendan. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely um, luxury car performance out of this world looks amazing. And um, right now they're trying to make, I, I think their target is 100 of them and sell them across the world, you know, to um, rich car So they're owners. really like where uh, Tesla and most of the other automakers are aiming to compete with the other automakers uh, in the sort of consumer market. The, the, the rematch are looking at um i suppose the likes of bugatti as competition yes in, in terms of their hypercars yes yeah. i love the question that the interviewer asked like wouldn't someone just buy a bugatti and not a rimats car and uh, he's like the average well, you go slow <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> That's like, uh, you know what, I'm going to derail the conversation here for a second. A sure. comment in the crypto co- community comes to mind where on Twitter, a billionaire would comment how Bitcoin is trash. And then like a regular guy would comment to him, have fun staying poor. That, that's, <laughs> you know, like that's, that's something <laughs> that comes to mind to your comment. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to go back to the... Um, question that he asked him so uh, aren't they just going to keep buying the you know like already established names and he told him that the average bugatti owner has around 40 to 50 cars in their collection so they're like multimillionaires that have a habit of buying luxury cars so it's more like adding to the collection and not being like a, oh first time you know like let's let's try this so yeah that, mm. that's a valid point i guess and uh, yeah, uh, last, last part, and then I'll um, transfer it over to you, Brendan. So um, where Rimac is going right now with his company, right now they're focusing on building a new campus because the facility that they were in uh, is kind of small. Um, they said they had a tough time finding like a huge warehouse that they could use. So they were kind of improvising, built their own, and now they're looking to build a huge complex they hired a designer company to create like two buildings. Uh, one of them would be for more like office buildings, you know, um, bureaus and stuff like that. And the other one would be manufacturing, production, uh, research and development. And um, the design looks amazing. We'll put a picture right here. And um, they want to build it in 2022, 23, 24, somewhere in that range. So in a few years, it should be done. And that's when they plan on scaling production and reducing cost and kind of being more efficient with everything. He designed the campus in a way where natural light goes through offices, wind circulation doesn't have to use that much air conditioning, uh, natural That's waters cool. underneath can heat, st- you know, like it's fully integrated. It's in the middle of a forest um, next to an old castle. So um, he will also do like a small park for animals and it will be wow. right in front of the um, um, canteen. So he says that I want to make people realize that these cute animals are going to their plates and kind of, you know, like <laughs> passively, passively make them stop. So yeah. I'm, I'm not going to force anyone, but you know, like m- maybe we nudge them a little bit into that direction. And they plan on being a technology company, which yeah. means creating other products for other companies as well, not just for their own cars. So they're like a bunch so of other technologies the- plus cars. For the end uh, consumer like you or I, we're more likely to interact with rematch technology in another vehicle. Uh, so, you know, something that we buy from another manufacturer. Um, but do they do they have any intention of ever targeting a, I suppose, a broader market uh, at a lower price point? Right now, that's not the main focus. And as I gathered, it won't be in the next few years. Um, okay. But I have a feeling that when they do the new Rimac campus, that that's when they'll start kind of producing more. Like I think that their next step could be something like a Model S. Yeah. Um, 
but I think they really want to hammer down the luxury market first and kind of establish themselves as a, um, he mentioned that one of his inspirations was the guy that developed uh, Christian Koenigsegg. Do you know that company? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's another high and, performance uh, EV company. It's not- yeah. He, he said that he's one of his idols and of course, Nikola Tesla with electricity and all that. Um, so he, he's kind of aiming for that. And that's another his biggest son of goal Croatia. right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's kind of where we're going with that company. Um, I'm sure that we'll do future podcasts on how things are evolving. But mm-hmm. right now, as I said, Rimac Nevera is the main thing and they're starting production with that and the campus. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.